In this video, I will share with you all the physics books which I studied in my BSc Physics Honors journey. So this video will tell you which books to buy for different courses in physics and also if you want to make a good physics book collections, you should have all these books and also at the end of this video I will share with you the book which I try to keep with myself because that book have almost all the formulas I need. So stay tuned. So in the BSc Physics Honors, I had a lot of Mathematical Physics course like Mathematical Physics 1, 2 and 3. So let me first show you different Mathematical Physics books. So the first one is this one which is Advanced Engineering Mathematics like it's Engineering Mathematics but it have a lot of concepts like Fourier series etc etc. So if you want to study Mathematical Physics, you should have this book. A similar book to this one is this one which is this one mathematical methods for physics by afkin weber and harris this book is similar to this one but it have a wide variety of other topics also like complex analysis also there were two books on integral calculus and differential calculus which i had as ebooks so there was differential calculus by pc das and bn mukherjee and also the integral calculus by bc das and bn mukherjee also there was vector analysis in mathematical physics so this book is the best one for vector analysis this is schkom's outlines vector analysis and the writers are this Pagel, etc etc this book is really good to study vector analysis and also we had a complex analysis course too and as you know i have a full series of videos of complex analysis in my channel and that series is made by studying the book on SCOM outlines complex variables and the writers are these that book is really good to study complex analysis but also these two books also have complex analysis in them so if you want to study mathematical physics and to become good in mathematical physics you should have all these books these books are really good so now there was course on mechanics mechanics have a lot of good books but I studied this one this is Analytical Mechanics by Satish K. Gupta. Speaking from academic perspectives, this have almost everything I needed to study. So this book is really good to study analytical mechanics, but it have a lot of mistakes. So now, so now the next course is electricity and magnetism and also electrodynamics. So for studying both, I studied a ebook. I will give a picture here. That is introduction to electrodynamics by david j griffiths this book is like really good to study electricity and magnetism and electrodynamics both but i didn't bought this book because in this book the thing is that they are not solving everything they are skipping the steps a lot so i made hand notes by using a ebook because like having a book won't help much because i had to do most of the things myself in the book there is only concept in this book that's why but if you want to study electrodynamics or electricity and magnetism then this is the best book i found now now there was a course on thermal physics so for studying thermal physics like heat etc etc this is the book i referred which is thermal physics and kinetic theory and also statistical mechanics but i didn't use it for statistical mechanics and by sc gurg rm pencil and ck ghosh this is a good book and also this one uh, introduction to chemical thermodynamics by r p rastogi and r r mishra these two books are really good for studying thermodynamics this one is better i didn't study it this much you can see like this one is more torn than this one so this is better one but this is not that good but we can say this is also good but this is this covers more topics i am speaking from an academic perspective not like theoretical perspective these are for like doing bsc books and also there was an analog electronics course for that we studied this one integrated electronics by milmans this book is really good but for start there is some sign convention problem in this book that's not a problem it's mathematically right but i have thought that this book is wrong but it is not this is a really good book to study analog electronics to help you like get compatible with circuits so this book is really good now we had a like a 
before quantum mechanics they gave us a modern physics course and i studied this one and this book is really good like covering everything i not only used it for modern physics but also for quantum physics and other subjects this also covers statistical mechanics and it's like a really good visual book and uh, like uh, they are also giving us stories of scientists who discovered thing and like how they did their phd from where etc etc like a really good interesting book to like study and uh, it covers a lot of good topics so if you want to study physics uh, like a overall view this book is really good now with mathematical physics we had courses on math so for math uh, the teacher mostly gave us some presentations and ppts to study so we studied on them the courses were on linear algebra and tensor and both were ppt so i didn't found any books for that but uh, there was another course on theory of equation and analytical geometry theory of equation book was like a college one book which was local college book i studied that but but for coordinate geometry this book was really good uh, this is the elements of uh, coordinate geometry by s l leoni this covers almost everything you need to know about coordinate geometry really good book and this guy have a lot of other books this if you can see these books you can like buy them for math courses we are studying physics honors but we have a lot of math that's why this channel is based on math so this book is really good to study coordinate geometry now we had a really tough course on quantum mechanics for, for that i studied this one that is quantum mechanics by g arul das and there were other books but those were ebook i will give a photo of that and also i want to tell you that this is also a book on quantum mechanics by p m matthews and k venkateshan i am not a critic but i didn't like this one because this do not cover much on quantum mechanics it's really not a good book this one is really good and from the start covers a lot of thing like from start it starts with origin and like make a really good pace and then like teach you quantum mechanics there was another book ebook i will show its picture here you can buy these don't buy this one buy this one for quantum mechanics you should have this one for quantum mechanics now we also had a course on solid state physics and for solid state physics i had two books this one is ashcroft and mermin solid state physics this is a really good book on solid state physics but a little complex one i think uh, like i've studied the index they took a really long time to make this book and this book is like processed by a lot of scientists so after that processing you have this book and so this book is really good but uh, uh, it's a little complex book and uh, a little difficult to understand so there is another ebook i used it as ebook and it was like solid state physics by s o p l i that was a really good book and it was much more simpler than this one but this one is also good so you can buy this for solid state physics and really good book also there was a course on waves and oscillations and for that we studied this book this is a ebook i have i don't have a hard copy that is vibrations and waves by a p french this is a really good book to study waves now time to share the book which i really like that is the concepts of physics by hc verma both the volume 1 and volume 2 This book is not very deep but can create a really good foundation to study the hard books like I shared in physics. So you should study these two books before studying all those like really difficult and complex books in physics. So I prefer to study these two books in the holidays which comes after the class 12th. This book will prepare you to study the hard physics which will come after the class 12th. Do not study it as an academic book because it is not, but study it after class 12th. I really prefer that. Now time to share a book that is similar to H. C. Verman that is The Principle of Physics by Resnick and Halliday. This book is also sometimes used as academic books. for class 11th and 12th so this is also a really good book for physics now i want to share a book which will help you to calculate faster in your head this is a really good skill to have when you are studying physics so this is the book that i want to share that is the secret to mental math by arthur benjamin and this is a really good book it helps you to practice your mind to calculate faster so this is also a really good book which you should have 
Now a little request that if you ever wanted to buy any of these books, buy them from the link in the description box below. Because all those links are affiliate links and if you buy them from the link in the description box below, that will support this channel. So if you want to support this channel, buy from the links in the description box below. And also thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything.